In this lesson, we're going to install NetBeans. NetBeans is the IDE that we will use for developing Java programs with. It's available as a free download, sponsored by Oracle. And after we've downloaded it, we will start it up, take a quick look at it, and create a minimum Java program just to make sure everything's working properly. So to download it, we will start by pointing our browser at netbeans.org. And we'll see that the home page for that project actually has a nice big orange download button ready for us to click on. When we click on this, we will see that the host has determined the operating system platform that we're going to run on. And assuming you're going to install it on the machine you're using to fetch it, then this is probably going to be correct. And it offers us a choice of different versions of NetBeans. The version of NetBeans that we want will be the one for Java SE. There are others that we could use, uh, which include all the facilities we need, but they're significantly larger, and that's just unnecessary. So we then click on that, start our download. Should start automatically, as it says. If it doesn't, you can click here just to make sure. And once the download has completed, we will open it. and we will launch the program that we fetched. The installer is pretty simple. It will prompt us to approve of its license and give us a choice about where we install it. I'm simply going to accept the default locations for that, so no problem there. Of course, it will then want to prompt us for pr the privileges necessary to actually do the installation. And we'll find then it uh, will write the files onto the disk, set up the configuration, and there's a little step right at the end of this where it says running package scripts that can take a significant amount of time. So just be patient and it should eventually finish. Might be a minute or two. So now the installation is complete. We can shut that down and then we can run the program. So we should find that it is installed under applications. We'll look for NetBeans, there it is, and we'll start that. When it starts up, it always brings up this banner screen that you'll get familiar with, and it tells you what its progress is, because it does take it a moment or two to get going. Uh, one of the other things that NetBeans will do as it starts up is to check for updates that have been made to the software since you last used it. So that's nice that it keeps itself up to date. When it starts for the first time, it will offer you this splash page, and it will also offer you the chance to install JUnit, which is a testing program. Uh, we're not going to use JUnit, so we'll press cancel for that, and then we'll get past the splash page by just clicking on that little box up there. 